We're glad to see y'all here tonight. And thank you for coming, being a part of the meeting. We're going to do a couple of songs with the choir tonight, and we're going to get right into it. We've got a great night uh, lined up. I believe you're going to enjoy the preaching and the singing. And we appreciate you uh, being here today. We had a request to do this song. We've done it Sunday, uh, but some of y'all wouldn't hear it then. And somebody requested to do this song. It's a song I wrote uh, about three years ago, I guess. And, and uh, I hope it'll be a blessing to you. Simply says, I have a song. Page 79. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy had brought me low. And from this place. time on it because I just finished writing it this week. The ink's still wet on it. And I'm going to ask the uh, Rogers family to come up. They're going to help us on this. I, I gave them a little clip of the chorus. Brother Jesse's going to bring the screen down. I'm going to explain this song. For many, many years in the Thanksgiving Jubilee here on Monday and Tuesday night, we had a preacher that was a staple here. He's in heaven tonight. Dr. Larry Brown, one of, the, one of our favorites, and a, a hero to us. And Brother Brown left such an impact. I was listening to him preach on, on YouTube the other day, uh, the classic message that he preached on, they ain't nobody like him. Ain't nobody like him. 
Man, I watched him and he preached the house down. I sat there and cried. He got talking about them Bible stories about that woman at the well. If you could ask her, what would she say about Jesus? She'd say, there ain't nobody like him. So if you could ask Paul and Silas, ain't nobody like him. I can't say it like Doc used to. But I think we've got a video clip. We might just let him say it tonight. And then we're going to sing this song that I wrote as a tribute song to Dr. Brown. The title of the song is Ain't Nobody Like It. woman who has been cleansed and sanctified and purified by the loveliness of the Word of God. You catch her and you ask her, what was it like when you was fallen and thrust at the feet of Jesus? When you got up and looked at him, what did you think? She said, I thought ain't nobody like him. You catch, Saul, uh, you catch Silas as he was tagging along with the greatest evangelist in the Bible. You'll see him fastened in the prison walls. It was about midnight. Paul looked over and said, Silas, what do you think about him? Silas said, I don't know, Paul. Can you tell me something good? Paul said, ain't nobody like him. And all of a sudden, all of nature's fury and all of nature's power began to quiver under the feet of God's people. You go over there to Simon Peter, who had failure on the Sea of Galilee one night, but come walking on the sea to him was the Lord Jesus, and he spoke three words, Lord, save me. God was in saving distance. And God reached down and picked him up, and he carried him back. You say, I think he walked back. I don't think he could walk nowhere. He towed him back, and when he put him in the ship, John said, what do you think, Peter? Simon said, ain't nobody like you. You go over there and you get that Gadarean that's been freed to go home and see his children. That Gadarean that was loaded with demons enough to run 2,000 hogs crazy. You get that Gadarene down there that's been freed and been delivered. When you see him two weeks after with his wife walking on the boardwalk, uh, just rejoicing with his wife in a calm and a serene manner. Uh, somebody walked up and said, hadn't seen you in a while. I uh, said, I heard the Nazarene touch you. What do you think? He said, ain't nobody like it. <laughs> you go to Mary and Martha when he floored death at the tomb of their brother. Later when, when Lazarus was sitting there talking to Jesus and Mary is at his feet. Martha's in the kitchen cooking hamburgers and french fries. They, the, Ma, Mary and Lazarus was talking in there. Mary said, tell me Lazarus, what do you really think about him? Lazarus was wiping tears and said, ain't nobody like him. I came to tell you tonight, ain't nobody like him. The disciples Amen. Amen. Now this, you need to loosen up a little bit for this song. We didn't write this. As a matter of fact, Brother Brown, I believe, would like the way we're doing this. And we're going to try to sing it for you. You pray for me that my voice will hold out, all right? All right, Colton.
at a well one day. A thirsty woman came his way, looking for water that would satisfy. Jesus told her of her sin, said you'll never have to thirst again. sisters in on it, but I don't know if we could have stood it if we'd got them in on it too. Well, I'm telling you one thing right now. Now, I know that song won't go over in the first church of the Frozen Chosen.